Hello everyone, this is Prasad Banerjee from Digit.in and we have the Gioni eLife S7 right now. So this phone has just been launched in India. It's one of Gioni's uh, super slim f smartphones. It's not the slimmest, it's at 5.5 mm, but uh, it is pretty slim and amongst the slimmest phones in the world. They are talking about this uh, parallel design. So this is two parallel bars uh, which basically make up the phone and <coughs> it is pretty light, you know, and uh, I mean, amongst the lightest phones here, it's at 126.5 grams. It's got a 13 MP rear camera, a uh, uh, 8 megapixel front camera. And of course, you can see Gioni's Amigo UI running on it. And that's layered on top of Android Lollipop. They've actually got rid of the Lollipop app, uh, quick settings uh, panel, which is surprising. But you know, some of you may like it. So overall, yeah, at, on first look, it looks pretty snappy, but then again, uh, you know, it's got the MediaTek MT6752 octa-core processor. That's a 1.7 gigahertz processor. And in our experience, it hasn't really done, uh, you know, very well in terms of performance. And especially in such slim phones, there's a lot of heating that happens. Although Gioni says that they've put in some, uh, you know, uh, use some technology in this processor, which will uh, allow for less heating. It also has a 5.2 inch 1080p display and uh, 16 GB of internal memory with uh, no expandable memory card slot. It's got 2 GB RAM and a 2750 mAh battery. Here also Gioni says that uh, the battery can run for uh, two days, but that's uh, pretty hard to believe in such a slim phone. We'll of course wait for the full review before passing judgments, but right now I'm, I'm not quite convinced with this phone.